Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. Today we're going to be talking about font scoring in XCS, the type of fonts, how to check that you have the right type and where to get them. So for everyone to make sure we're on the same page, it's June of 2025 and I'm using version 2.6.38. If you have a number lower than that, you can update your software. If you have a number higher than that, you can listen for the commands as the interface might have shifted. So the canvas I'm using, you can see here, it doesn't matter. I'm using the Xtool P2 for this example, but every single Xtool laser inside of the desktop uh, application for both Windows and Mac will have this same functionality. So listen for those. So the type of font that you need is called a single line font. If you've ever tried scoring a font and it gives you an outline, or if it looks different on your screen versus what comes out of the laser, you're likely using the wrong font. So we need to use a single line font. Now I had a person send me an example and they thought that these two right here were single line fonts and they searched for them and they came up and they downloaded them and they didn't work. And I'm going to tell you why. Regardless of how it comes into your system, regardless of how you're designing it, and regardless of whether or not you convert it to a path, single line fonts are the only fonts that you're going to do with no extra work and get them to score. So the first thing is to select your actual wording and then choose the processing type of score. Now regardless of if you take this and weld it together, this one and weld it together, or this one and weld it together, there's only going to be two fonts on this entire example here that are going to give you what you want. And that is these two because they're true single line fonts. Now let's go back to this example. So we've welded this together and this means it's live text, right? So we can come in here and actually change the text. Whether we do that and send it to the computer or whether we convert it to the path and send it to the computer doesn't matter. So let's do that with both of these two. The way you can tell if it's a true single line font, regardless of what the font author says, is if you convert it and you come into the editing menu, you'll see that there are nodes, which are the instructions to the laser on two separate lines. So this is going to in fact create two separate lines. However, if we look at this one in the editing menu, you can see there is a single line hence the name single line font so all of the instruction for this is all on the same line now it doesn't matter if you're using script single line or if you're using non-script single line if we change everything to score you can see if we convert these they're both still going to be the same meaning we have two sets of lines and we have a single path that won't change. So regardless of what the actual font is titled in here, if you type in single line or monoline or whatever, does not matter. It is how it's going to be communicated to the laser. So if you're getting scores that look like this, when you wanted it to look like this, it's because you just have the wrong font selected. So how do we find these fonts? First of all, I strongly strongly, strongly advise against using dafont.com or dafont.com. That isn't a good thing if you are creating designs to sell or if you are selling physical goods. Most of those are personal use license and many of them, even if you can purchase a commercial use, uh, they may not necessarily be from the original author of the font, which renders your uh, commercial license uh, null and void. So. To find a true single line font, you can come out to font bundles or creative uh, fabrica and you can type in the words single space line and just hit enter. Now, the problem here, let's scroll down a bit. So let's use these first nine fonts. Nope, nope, yes, 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 nope, 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 nope. So even though they came up in single line, six of these, out of the nine will not work. There are only three on this page that will work. And I'll give you a little preview as to how you can tell. This right here, scroll down. If you see any preview here, 
it's probably not a single line font. If you don't see the preview, it's probably a single line font. And the reason both of these are coming up is because the font creator has indicated in a product tag that they are single line. Now we know that that's for SEO. That is not telling us that we can actually use it for scoring. So the same thing is over here. If I type in single line on Creative Fabrica, you actually want to come in here now and after typing single line, go ahead and click font because you will get a ton. So this one, I have this font right here and that's actually one of my examples in here. That right there is that font exactly, I heart you. And even though it comes up on and state single line font with heart swash, no, it's not. We know it's not because we just put it through our test. So just as a, an overall, when you type it in, you can validate and you can go through and validate all of your fonts as well. If you're like me and you do design work or you have a ton of fonts, I would actually create a um, monoline single line folder. So in here I have monoline fonts and single line fonts. So if I click in here, you'll see that's a no, that's a no, that's a no, that's a no, that's a no. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. But again, monoline is a different version than single line because a monoline font follows a design path or that's how designers sort of look at it. Single line is what we need. So just FYI, if you have the ability to categorize your fonts, it's an easy way to make sure that you can uh, find them quickly, both inside XCS and in other software like Lightburn. So just FYI, I hope this helped. And when you're doing your scored pieces, again, you can look. It doesn't matter the style of the font. It matters the type of font. So if you have any questions about this, drop them down below. I am working on that full uh, font masterclass sort of in XCS, but this question just keeps coming up. And so I thought I'd answer it. Quick little score uh, font tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, please like the video and subscribe for more.